Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. How are you? This is your bi-weeklies. Okay. Um, if you guys want to check out um, our intention bracelet, it's down there. And at the same time, unlimited extended reading already available. It's also, if you click more, you will see in the description box below. Pay once and you can watch all my readings for seven days or 30 days. Okay, so the Aries right now, ooh, okay, what do we have for the first two weeks of January? What I'm seeing is uh, a test of patience. We had this reading before, which means that you're trying to understand a situation as much as possible, as much as you can. However, since there is a seven, the seven of pentacles is here, you understand that I have given it all and I tried. I have put effort and um, from what I'm seeing here is that what else should I do? You feel like there is some sort of dysfunction if you add more to the relationship. Four of Wands is here. So it is a good relationship to a certain degree because there is some sort of security that you get from this. But it feels like it's one-sided. You get it because you provide the energy. Which means without your energy in this relationship, it doesn't even make sense. And that's where you are with the Seven of Cups. It is one-sided. Just like my face today, it's one-sided. Okay. <laughs> so with the Seven of Cups, it is feeling like, why is it always me making plans, making the relationship work, putting the energy, the time, which is the pentacles? And you're now realizing this. Hello, with Rahu in the first house, aren't you going to be confused? Of course you are. You don't even know what if you like this person, but you do because you have the Ten of Cups, but you just don't know because K2 is in the seventh. Sometimes you want them and sometimes it just annoys you. Now, we have other planets, of course, in the second week of, uh, you know, first two weeks of January. Mercury is still retrograde in Sagittarius, which is for you. You probably want something um, outside of the norm. When I say that, it's more of like you probably want to travel, be out there, study. Like it aggravates you that you're feeling stuck in this relationship. And that's what K2 does in the seventh house. It suffocates you. I've seen it. I've seen people with K2 in the seventh. They cannot stand a relationship, but they always get a relationship. Oh, more than Rahu. Rahu will give you one, two. With K2, you get 10. Oh, okay. And they say Rahu. Imagine a Ra Rahu energy, right? That's going to be like, what, 18, 19 years of Dasha. And then K2 Dasha is seven. How much partner are you going to get? So in the 18 months, how many partner in the past, what, past year? Because you still have until October this year in 2023. Can't believe I said 2023. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it's so surreal. Like yesterday's 2022. It is yesterday. I'm doing this on January 1st. I just like to be dramatic. Anyway, so moving forward to your K2 7th house, you're going to be dealing with multiple people that confuses you, wanting to be with you. You don't want them. And then you'll find yourself also, 7 of Cups, being cheated on. Mm -hmm. But actually, you're cheating yourself here. 7 of Swords. Cheating. You're cheating yourself because... You know what you want, but you don't do the right thing. Rahu makes you learn from your mistakes. The Tower. Good morning, 2023. <laughs> Eight of Wands and the Chariot. I'm so done, Sal. The first two weeks of January is going to be a struggle to understand what is going on. What the F, Sal? <laughs> this is what you're feeling. Now, what the F? Because your Lagna Lord is retrograde in your second house, which means it's looking at the first house and you are just fed up. You're done. You're <laughs> Mars looking at the at Rahu. You're, um, um, how do you call this? you <laughs> Temper is out of control, darling. The way that you talk, second house is speech. You will call them out, eight of ones. So you're basically bringing war to surface with a person that you love. <laughs> with a person that you love. With a person that you care. Chariot over here. Um, so love them, hate them. You're not going anywhere. I can tell you that. Okay. <laughs> and this, this reading would be very triggering because you don't understand. Why do I still want them? Eight of Wands and a Seven of Cups, right? 
And um, here with the four of ones, things happen between the two of you fast. You met once, okay, second date, we're doing this, we're going there, we're traveling, we go to nice restaurants, anniversary, everything that works. But how come this person is always denying certain emotions, certain feelings, making me wonder seven of swords with the tower and the seven of cups? So, you know, if you Google, there are seven wonders of the world. And I feel like your relationship with this person would be the eighth wonder of the world. You're welcome. Follow me. Link in the description box below. Subscribe to our unlimited extended reading.